Evening, everybody. Well, I had a good lunch of strawberries and raspberries and some of the, oh, geez. I want to say huckleberry, but that's not it. Current berry. And, uh, again, I'm just not really hungry. It's dinner time. It's getting later than it should be. I've already made the fire, got it ready. And uh, just can't really decide what I want to eat tonight. So I think for a quick snack, you know, I really haven't decided. So I'll get back to you when I figure something out. And if I don't get back to you, it's because I didn't really eat another dinner tonight. Tomorrow is 30 days of, is the 30th day. It's the 30th day of me living out here, of me being ready out here, of eating everything out here. And honestly, I really want to be hungry in the morning. I haven't been eating breakfasts. And I, I want to be hungry in the morning because I have a special breakfast planned and a special lunch. Or I actually don't have a lunch planned for tomorrow, but I have a special breakfast and a special dinner planned for tomorrow to celebrate my last night out here. And I don't want to be full like I am now. So... Oh, look at that. The rabbit's water bottle has fallen down. So I think I'll go fix that and then try to decide if there's anything I can come up with. As you can see, they're still setting off fireworks in my neighborhood. Isn't that fun? Okay, I'll talk at you later. Okay, folks. So as I said, I'm not really that hungry. And I want to save my appetite for tomorrow's big feast. So what I've done is I've taken four of my farm fresh eggs, raised or laid today by the chicken, and uh, I'm going to, I've had this experiment in my mind, and I, I could have gone online and I could have checked it out and found out what would happen, but instead I'm going to experiment just by trying to cook these chicken in their shell, or trying to cook these eggs in their shell. So. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, so as an experiment for tonight's dinner, I'm going to see how I can cook these eggs in their shell. I'm going to try one right outside the coals here. Just like that. Right next to that one, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to pause the camera to do it, but I'm going to take right here on the top of that camera, or right here on the top of the egg, and I'm going to tap a hole with my knife and place that one right next to it. So let me do that real quick. Okay, hopefully you can see that hole right there. Now that's the two set on the outside of the fire edge. And I'm going to take these other two and I'm gonna put them in a little later actually in the coals same method one with a hole one without and we'll see how that goes hopefully we can uh, make some interesting hard-boiled eggs I guess you might say without water or because so you can't call them boiled I guess baked eggs in the shell okay there's the two eggs still sitting over there by themselves and that looks like a nice little coal batch right there. You can scoop this coal a little bit further apart. And you can see these nice red coals right down there that I'm talking about. And we're going to place those other two eggs right in there. So first, the one without a hole. Ooh. And then, now I hypothesize that these two are going to kind of pop open and that they're not going to, or that the eggshell itself is going to burn one of the two. That these two, though, actually should be able to cook properly. Try to do this one handed. A little smoke on my face there again. Okay, well, that's definitely a hole so that it. Hopefully it won't explode.
my back board over there is finally caught on fire. Doing a lot more light and heat. There we go. Now I know it's functioning all the way through. I can put this one down right in the coals as well. Ooh, a little hot there. Okay. Look at that. You can watch it already starting to bubble out of the hole there. Makes you wonder how long it's going to take to cook. I almost want to try turning this other one because it's... See if it's... The shell is browning. Oops. Oh no. Have to back up from the fire there for a second. Here, this cracked one over here is hissing. Or it could be moisture from one of these logs, but it would make more sense that it's the egg. Probably from this one here that I knocked over. Ooh. For a fun experiment this is, but warm it certainly is also. Also don't want to overheat the camera here. Checking the temperature on it. Start to see the gel starting to come out of this one, just the whites of the egg starting to come out of the other cracked one. And these eggshells are starting to brown, as you can see, in spots. So I think it might come down to a timing thing. is cooked or the outer eggshell burns and at what temperature did you do it all at now that there let me see if I can zoom in again can't really tell if it is or not on camera. But I believe that is cooked yolk right there. Or cooked uh, excuse me, not yolk, well, egg white. We'll give it a little bit longer just to be safe. These ones on the outside definitely aren't cooked yet. You can see the clear gel there. So I'm basically just letting this fire uh, die out. Ooh. Every time I go to talk, smoke comes right at my face. 
29 days. Well, for one, I would say the thing I miss the most. Well, let me rephrase that because the thing I miss the most is definitely my wife. But the, the food I miss the most has to be dairy in general, preferably cheese. I'm a found lover of cheese and oops, excuse me again there comes that smoke man Whoa. I don't know if you can see that on camera when it wolfs over to my face or not but it's enough to take your breath away yeah uh, um I've learned that I'm not really much of a three meals a day towards the end of this. I was trying to do three meals every day for you guys on video, but honestly, I just don't eat that much food. I usually only eat two meals a day, if that. Usually it's one meal and snacking. That was before I started this 30 days experiment. Now I eat a lot more snacking, like today I did I don't know, probably 50 sugar snap peas throughout the day, as well as 20 or 30 strawberries, two or three handfuls of raspberries, a handful of currant berries, you know, so, but not a real meal, you know, nothing fancy worth showing that. I haven't showed you, I've showed you me eating berries enough that you don't need to see more footage of that. Well, it's getting a little dark in there. I can't... I'm pretty sure these things should be cooked by now. Uh, we'll try one of these more innered ones first. That sounds pretty hollow. That was my egg exploding. Just like I said, I expected the solid ones they would eventually. I tapped it, and boom, it exploded. That was a little, took my, me right off, uh, off guard there, folks. I'm glad the camera was rolling during that moment. I don't know how much of that you got to see and how much I jumped. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to tap the other one that's, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put another piece of wood on the fire here. That way we can see what's going on. Let me try to find some wood here. It's going to light up pretty quick. Small little pieces. But, uh, woof. Okay. There's another one over here that's been baking like that, and it's a time bomb. And before I try to crack it by my face, I'm going to bring it over here and just kind of... That does not sound... Does not feel as pressurized as those ones did. It's probably still very... Not cooked all the way through. Not ready to explode like that thing did, man. That was... Woof. Okay, let me get... I'm going to have to get up and get a watch. I'm going to pause the camera. Be right back at you guys. Okay. Now we can see that that one cracked open. They're both cracked open and definitely cooked through. Now I can pull these two out. Now this one over here, though, not so sure about. But I'm definitely going to have to pop the shell away from. Oh, there we go, it cracked just like it should have. And the way it cracked tells me that it's solid inside because it didn't go all the way down. Alright, well, that looks like, as an example, you can cook eggs just in their shell in the fire. But the best bet to do is to pop a small hole in the top, or at least what I, from my experience of tonight, I can't say it's the best way to do it. My experience tonight tells you to pop a hole in the top of a thing so that they don't explode like you should have seen in that. Oof, that was, oof. It, 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 it was pretty crazy there for a second. Um, all right. So this is my little snack.
my my dinner you should say I should say uh, I don't think I'll even eat all this I'm still so full from those berries this afternoon man you'd be surprised when you eat a full I mean large bowl of berries like you've seen in previous videos that I gather it's it's more than enough food to last you for the day all right talk to you guys later oh I, I'll actually probably show you a little bit of footage once I peel one of these just to see what it looks like Okay, this is the one that exploded. And that's pretty much just like a baked egg. Or a hard boiled egg, but baked. Okay. I'm gonna. That's. That's it, folks. This is the 29th day. We will see you in the morning for the last day of eating off my garden and sleeping out here. That's pretty amazing, guys. The last day. Okay.